The GSMA is taking climate action because we are facing a climate emergency and we have a responsibility as a sector to take action in line with that emergency. So what we're doing is aligning us as an industry to uh, a pathway that will limit global warming to 1.5 degrees, which is the target set as part of the Paris Climate Change Agreement. There is an opportunity for us because of our sector and the move to digitization for us to offer products and services that will help us get to net zero carbon emissions as an economy globally. In Telefonica, we have an integrated energy and climate change strategy. We seek both to reduce our internal emissions, but also to promote our digital services to help our customers to reduce their own emissions. Internally, we recently updated uh, our energy and climate uh, targets to align them with the 1.5 degree scenario. These targets have been validated by the Science Veins Target Initiative and will reduce our carbon emissions by 50% in 2025, 70% in 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality in 2050. KPN is taking responsibility for almost 10 years now uh, by uh, buying 100% uh, renewable uh, energy and by being climate neutral for five years now. And I think the thing is, we every day we think, can we do things differently? Can we do it better? Can we do it more sustainable? Can we do it for ourselves, but also how can we help other companies, other sectors to become more green by rolling out uh, solutions and services uh, we have? Today's conference was great. I mean, it's the first time we've partnered with GSMA, so the telco companies, uh, and to put together the renewable energy suppliers and uh, the GSM members who are buying energy uh, is a great opportunity, first of all, to raise awareness about the benefits of sourcing renewable energy, um, but also to educate and learn from each other about the opportunities. Um, it's also a good opportunity to build uh, business connections and, and facilitate deals uh, between the two groups. European operators have become very ambitious in their climate targets over the last uh, year. So we've seen a lot of announcements, recent announcements from companies like Telefonica and Telia that they really want to step up their climate ambitions. For instance, Telefonica wants to use 100% renewable energy by 2030. Orange wants to be 100% renewable by 2030 for their whole operations worldwide. So this is really, you can see that European operators are it's a leading the fight against climate change in the, te in the telecom sector. What we've seen today is that for the first time, the renewable energy sector and the telecom sector have come together to talk about 5G, but also about renewable energy. And I think there's a real shared agenda that both sectors need to learn from each other. And in the end, they really can work together better to accelerate the transition to renewable energy, not only in the uh, telecom sector itself, but also for other sectors.